What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. The player lifestyle isn't all peaches and cream. <laughs> yeah, I thought about talking about that because you know what? I did a uh, you know my regular video is about select men do commit, and of course you gotta detract. Basically, low key trying to attack not just me but some other content creators. I'm like, why? Why? If that person's watching, I laughed as I blocked you. I mean, come on. <laughs> but I noticed just in general, a lot of people didn't comment on it because, you know, a lot of guys out here have this idea that all select men are players. No, nah, just some of them. Shit. Like I said in the video, if a man can get that real attractive woman, he don't want to play. But let me just talk about uh, plays. In fact, let me shout out uh, Brother uh, Ahmad who commented. Uh, I think uh, Ahmad uh, Naeem, I'm not sure, brother. But he was asking uh, how many, what percentage of men are true players. Like they just get into that lifestyle. And he said he met maybe three in 27 years. That's about accurate, man. Let's just be real. Um, men who get with multiple women. Ain't big. Yeah, a lot of guys talk about their player card. Let's just be real. There's only a tiny percentage of men who psh, even will have sex with more than 20, 20 women in their lives that they don't pay for. I, I got I to gotta, I, I, I gotta emphasize that part. There's a lot of guys who be thinking, oh, yeah, but yeah, I had sex with 50 women. I had sex with 100 women. Yeah, the ones you pay for don't count. That, that don't count. Come on, y'all. Stop. Stop that. That don't count. I'm talking about sex where you ain't really paying anything. Or you ain't giving her money directly. Or even tricking or something, right? And but it's only a small percentage, really. And it's hard to say, but just from uh, you know, qualitative research, knowing people and shit, even seeing how many people answer my player uh questionnaire. Not that many. And quite frankly, some of the people who say I'm on a player questionnaire, some of them weren't players. They said so. I was like, what part did they not get played? But anyway, I was just thinking about that this morning because a lot of guys thinking it's all, you know, fun and games. And let's be real. Take out the word all and yes, there's some definite funny games. Hey, ain't nothing more satisfying then getting a new, fairly attractive woman. Notice I say it fairly. Very few men who aren't celebrities are going to get constant dimes. And even then, even then, they ain't going to be running up a lot. Unless they're a musician. Even then, it's not going to be all dimes. But think about it. It's nothing like getting that new woman. She fine. She got whatever body you like on. Especially if y'all like a butt dog. Taking those jaws off for the first time, that first penetration. Oh man. Ain't looking like that. Nothing like that, hunt. Nothing like that, hunt. I shoot. Ain't nothing like that, hunt at all. And you know, you having fun, all the fun stuff. Hey, ain't a better high. Shoot, she's stroking your ego. She validating you. Shit. Man, psh, please. People will pay for what some of the players are getting. So, of course, some people are going to say, well, what plot problems do the players have? Uh, the problem after you bust your nut. Because <laughs> even these guys talking about, and I know they ain't in that world talking about some pump or dump or something. I was like, uh, dude, unless you're paying a prostitute, and a lot of dudes have actually said that they ain't paying for the sex they're paying her to leave. It ain't as easy as you think. I don't care. You could tell, you could look that woman in the eye. Like, you can look some, with some women in the eye. Say, look, this is not a relationship. I just want to hit the scans and I want to go on. And they'll be like, okay, yeah, sure. That's all I want too. And then after they go, ooh, 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 it feel good to them. Especially if it feel good. If it feel bad to them, they'd be like, oh, okay, you can go. But if it feel good to them, shoot. They'd be like, where is this going? Wait a minute, didn't we just say this ain't? No. Women lose their mind, they get that hot beef injection. So, you want to start catching, like, yeah, you might think it's fun, but then it's all the other stuff with it and everything. 
Because you just don't know who you're dealing with. You're dealing with a human being. Shoot. Even if she, uh, what you consider a dime, your personal version of a dime, say you hook up with her or something, but then she started doing some crazy stuff. You find out about, wait a minute, like some guys out here don't think the personality part matters? Oh, yeah, it do. Especially when you're dealing with a woman. And shoot, especially if you don't know her well. Shit. I remember my quickest ever one night stand. And ironically, at first, I didn't want it to be a one night stand. Because I was like, oh, she's going to be around a while. She was like an intern. You know, at this, uh, she was an intern staying on campus at this school. Um, and everything. In fact, she's still my unaccounted for woman. Let's just say we're a little reckless. So, I might have a little Rom or Romette running around out there I don't know about. So, if y'all see me on one of these uh, paternity shows, don't be shocked. I told you here first. And I mean, and I'm not even joking about that. That's how deep it was. That's how intense it was. And that was some good stuff. Man. She literally gave me a blowjob. I mean, she was just blowing on it. I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she. I was like, good God. She had some skills. So we lay in there. Had about three or four sessions that night. We lay in there chill. She's like, I smoke crack. Damn. <laughs> Man. Like, you get these guys talking about they pumping and dumping and just having a one night stand. It's like, dude, come on, man. You gonna tell me you ain't catch something. And speaking of catch, shoot. You get these guys acting like they doing something, but they never wondered one time or they never had that woman call them up talking about, like, uh, yeah, they late. Come on, now. And that's, that's, the minor, that's the minor drama. You're talking about just the emotional stuff with women. Especially, I'm telling you, man, as, as, as soon as that woman gets that good, good, please, please, shoot, you get some women be like stalking you and stuff, shoot, that one woman, I was like, um, because it actually did have her over again, but she, she was tripping, she's ready to fight me in my living room, I was like, ain't this some shit, so naturally I cut off. She came banging on the door a couple times. So I was like, damn, how'd she get past security downstairs? And she, that's just one incident and stuff. There's, there's so much. Because another thing, too, anybody who say they've been with enough women, like you get some guys trying to say, yeah, I've been with all these women and shit. Um, if you've been, if you're going to say, you might could get 20 women, you might, might could get to 20 women without finding one who has... Uh, a man who's like actually single and I'm gonna get into that single thing in a second but you got some guys saying oh yeah I've been with women after women and shit you wanna tell me every single one of them every single one of them was truly single cause women will lie about their status and sometimes they'll tell you you gonna tell me like anybody who's had a significant count has fucked someone else's this woman anybody uh -uh. if you try to say you didn't I'm going to call Cap. If you said you've been with five women and never did, I'll be like, okay, that's reason. If you say with 20 women, I'm going to be like, mm, maybe. And I'll, I'll just, that on how old you are and everything. But if you try to say you've been with 50 women and you ain't had some drum, shh. and see, that's one thing players got to deal with. You got to deal with all the other shit. Like that thing with uh, the man. You never know when her boyfriend decided to follow her. And if you're dumb enough to go out in public with her, you don't know. And especially nowadays, shoot. You low-key putting trackers on and everything. Shoot, he might have a password, go through it. Go through her uh, phone. Say, oh, wait, she on this She on this online dating thing? Oh, she on Facebook? She on IG? Damn, why this dude keep liking her pics? <laughs> yeah, check out your picture and shit. All of a sudden, you think you chilling out and out of the way. He come walking up. Seriously. Because you want to deal with, you always going to deal, you going to have some confrontation one way or the other. You either got to play it off or, I haven't had to fight behind one, but ironically, I've had confrontations with women, I, over women I wasn't even messing with. The dude's just thinking I'm messing with them. 
See, that's the thing, because, you know, not the dude. They see how you doing. They might catch uh, their women looking at you. There's always some shit. And then sometimes the women be on some drama. Sometimes the women be on some drama and stuff. I remember in this building I used to live in, it was this uh, woman, you know, round shot is shot. And you know, she was all right with it, but she had a boyfriend. And I remember they were down the hall. They looking at me. They, she said, she must have said something, oh, that's him. And dude looking at me. But I was like, I just looked back and said, come on. I'm some little skinny ass dude. She probably cheated on him. Mm, a couple of that. Seriously, he be having all that stuff. Serious, you got to worry about that. And then let me get into that pump and dump thing. Let me get into that pump and dump thing. Some dudes be thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, I can just pump and dump her and shit. You don't know who she get. You don't know who she got. You don't know. You don't know who she know. You don't know who she got. She could have a father. You know, father figure. Got some cousins. You know, in the hood we say her peoples. There's been some dudes like fucked up behind some shit. They thought they were dogging some woman. Now, all of a sudden, you know, her cousins, even her play cousins, be coming after you. Shit. That's some real stuff and everything. And, you know, just the point is, it's kind of it's kind of like a drug. It's kind of like a drug. Yeah, you're getting that high, and you, trust me, you're getting that high, but then the other stuff with it. It's like somebody who uses drugs. Yeah, they're getting that high, but then they losing friends, family. They could be losing their job, all that other shit, but they're still chasing that high. And let me be clear. This ain't saying, you know, don't be a player. You know, but it's just be like, okay, you want to try to do that. You got to know everything that goes with it. And even then, and you know, and this is a discussion I had with my father. We go back and forth with it, you know, and because he said you can only be born to play anyway. And just to be clear, because I know some people say, well, aren't you telling us how to be players? No. I'm telling you how to use the player skills. But if you look at my books, I don't really tell you to be a player. I tell you, use those skills because I've talked to a lot of actual players and shit. They ain't trying to be players. One in particular, I'd never forget, he actually said to me, well, another one, I had to talk off the ledge, we won't get into that one. But another one actually said to me, he was he was like, he wish he could go someplace nobody knew who he was, just be, he wish he could be one of these ordinary guys. And I used to watch women throw it at him. He wasn't like capping or anything. I used to watch women throw it at him and stuff. And in fact, I had, uh, I, you know what, there's something, there was something with this particular one. I, I can't even put it out there. It could be like that minuscule chance I might see it. But let's just, let's just say this particular guy might have had some uh, kids. He might have been a father of somebody else's kids. Shit. Oh, and that's another thing, too. That's another thing. You get some women out here, and shit, they're messing with that play. He just a sperm donor for real. Cause you know you get the you get some of these uh, women talking about some men ain't taking care of their babies or something like that. Some men don't know they have a baby. Seriously, some men don't know they have a baby. Cause you get some women they get that player type to be like, you know what? They independent, but they still got want that child. They be like, yeah, he cute, you know. Be telling the guy like, oh, go ahead and take that condom off. All of a sudden, don't don't let that guy know anything and stuff. And then be moving on. And then, I'm going to tell you what, you got some female players out there, too. I mean, you're coming across a lot of shit. That's the thing. You're coming across a different women, different mental states. You get some stalkers. You get some women, you can tell them straight up you ain't trying to get with them. Because, see, that's one thing about the player thing. That's one thing. Any real player is not constantly approaching. He's going to get some women that's going to throw it out. He, you know, he can approach sometimes, but a real player, he gonna get some women approach him, but he might not want the women. He might not want the women. But women can get crazy when they get in stalker mode, and they try to get with a guy. She had hey, this woman on this one job. This woman, she was uh, working in human resources on the job. She had my address. She was sending me cards and letters and everything. I went. I ain't even had my own place at the time. I'm still living at my grandmother's place. You know, 
and it's like, well, wait a minute, this could be a problem. <laughs> this could be a problem. Like it's it's that pieces of cream and stuff. And you know, my point is, you know, some people. Well, one thing, I'll say it like this. I'll say it like this. From the outside, it looks great. From the outside, it looks great. And like I said, ain't nothing like some raw butt naked sex. Ain't nothing. I can't. I, I can't think of a better high. I really can't. I know some people try. I say no. And that feeling, that first time you get inside that woman, first time just even taking her panties down, you know, undressing, seeing her naked, you know, have her lay there and, you know, just shine your light on, just look up and down. You ain't even in yet. You be like, damn, girl. Mm. And you excited as hell. You excited as hell. And that first penetration, psh, ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like the first penetration. Ain't nothing like the second time you have sex with. And people say the second time. What the hell are they doing right here? Oh, this band was about to build something. Who knows? They're always building something around this motherfucker. But anyway. Ain't nothing like the second time because any kinks you worked out from the first time. But you know and just repeating that wash rinse and repeat over and over but then everything you get with it everything you get with it is some um, you know everything women want to be you know they want more from you they trying to trick you might trying to like trap your seed all of that stuff now like i said if you're going to get into it understand what you want to do and this ain't to discourage if you got it in you well, according to my father, either you just have it in, you can't be taught. Me, like I said, I'm just teaching guys the skills because you got a lot of good guys. They having trouble getting women, but if you got the skills, you can get that good woman and everything, you know. And plus, you get more options, especially if you select. You get better options because let's be real, men, most men could probably get somebody if they really want. Despite, you know, women saying uh, publicly they want certain types and stuff. Psh, women out here thirsty. That's another thing. But hold up. Let me get into that thirsty thing. Like I said, like these players are really getting chased down. Like true play, true players, they don't be working that hard. They might approach a woman here and there, but they don't really be working that hard. Some guys think they do. That's because they ain't true players. But it's just the other shit. The other, you be like, damn. You know, you be trying to focus on some stuff and somebody bothering you, calling you, texting you, wondering why you leaving their texts on read. On read. <laughs> it's like, man. That's something. And you know what? It's cool if you want to uh, do that. And usually the guys who do that, they'll do that in their 20s. But they get hit mid-30s. You get very few who like just keep it up, and even then, you start talking to a lot of the older cats, and they still they still doing their thing. They'll say, they, seriously, I've lost track. I mean, they say, you know what? They wish they could just chill out. They wish they could just chill out. In fact, I had a couple like couple guys who were players, and it's, it's bad. The women were telling me how the women they there was women. I'm being some circles. The women was telling me about the guys. Like, I never forget this one. I, he ain't never really say he was a player. We talked, but he never say it's the women in this particular social circle that were, like, breaking down shit. I think he pointed out maybe one. He kind of nodded towards one young and he got with him. That was it. But it was just one day. He's like, damn, Ron, do I have an addiction? I was like, damn, no, nah, man. They just feeling you like that. You know? But it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm going to tell you what, though. Sometimes when you, things look great from the outside, but people from the inside don't really talk about what the real deal is. Seriously. People from the inside. You know? Because there's always more to it. There's always some other shit. It'd be, yeah, us. It'd be great if you could just pump and dump. Well, honestly. I know that shit sound cold blood. You know, and the woman would just be totally cool, all of that. But like I said, if that if it's good to her, and women out here have trouble getting it real good, 
Oh no, you you pretty much. Well, I ain't gonna. I've actually mentioned on my Patreon how to get rid of women like that, so they think it's their idea. But I don't give away. That's some of the game I don't give away for free. But yeah, it's something, man. It's something. I was thinking about it, and like I said, sometimes it is what it is. Cause I really am like going back and forth with my father over that. Cause he he just say he, he was he was definitely born to play, you know. He was born to play. He couldn't help it, and I kind of wonder when I see that with my son. Cause <laughs> shit, he ain't don't get no game from me. Yeah, that dude's kept a girlfriend since like fifth grade. It was like it, with him, it's just a matter of when he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> It's easy to count those times because he always got some woman, some little girl on his tip. Always. Hell, when he was a toddler, this older woman was talking about his nice lips. I was like, man, you better back the fuck off my child. Shit. <laughs> but, yeah. It's something. And let me be clear. Like I said, I ain't promoting that lifestyle. I ain't saying, oh, stay away from it. If y'all notice, whenever I talk about something, I just say all, all the stuff in it, and then you have to make the choice what you want to do. That's all I do. I don't say yay or nay. I say, hey, if you can live with it, you can do whatever. You know? I ain't gonna say it's bad, but you do get some bullshit. You know? But, <laughs> like I said, oh, man, it ain't nothing like that raw butt naked sex especially the first time you get with a woman ain't nothing like it ain't no how I like it but unfortunately there's some lows to it but anyway that's all I had I thought I'd share that cause you know what here's the thing I'm always gonna be I'm just gonna, I ain't gonna tell you no like bullshit I'm, as best as possible I'm always gonna tell you both sides of something cause I'm just gonna tell you the re reality and then the thing there is, all right, I'm telling you the reality. You make a choice as to what you want to do. Because ultimately, since I, I promote sovereignty, as a man, you got to decide. For some men, hey, that lifestyle is great. I mean, they can deal with the pitfalls. For others, it's not. They ain't built for it. If you ain't built for it, leave it alone. If you are, okay. And stuff. If you are, shoot. And indeed, some people, they in it anyway, can't get out. The only thing to get them out is death. It is what it is. Damn, I saw. Damn, that ass looked familiar, I just saw. I gotta go in there. Talk to y'all. Peace.